Every weekday afternoon from 1952 to 1970, millions of people across America tuned into CBS for Art Linkletter's house party. Each show ended with Mr. Linkletter talking to kids. In fact, over the years, he interviewed more than 20,000 of them. They all came from different backgrounds in all shapes and sizes, but the kids at least had one thing in common. They all said the darndest things. Carolyn, what do you want to be? A movie star. What do movie stars do, for instance? They go to studios and do some stuff. Yeah, how do they start a day out, do you suppose? What is the first thing a movie star does? <laughs> has a movie star breakfast, then it goes in a movie star car, and then it has a movie star lunch, then it goes to a stu movie star studio, then it drives home in the movie star car, then it goes to bed with another movie star. Tonda, what do you want to be when you grow up as a grown man? An actor and an artist. An actor in motion pictures? Mm -hmm. Let me give you a little test. Have you ever done any acting? Yeah. Well, try it. Say Art Linkletter like you're mad. Art Linkletter like you're mad. <laughs> That's good. You're going to be a wonderful actor. <laughs> Stanley Thomas, what do you think you'll be when you grow up? A bus driver or a pilot. A bus driver or a pilot. Yeah. Well, suppose you were pilot on a big airplane, and suddenly all four engines stopped right away. What would you say? Our father would turn to everybody. <laughs> what does your daddy do, Paige? He raises funds. He ra he's a fundraiser. Gee, that's wonderful. Who's he raising funds for? Himself. <laughs> By the way, who's the boss in your house, your mother or your dad? My, both of them. Hey, you're a diplomat, are you? No, I'm a Catholic Baptist. Mark Green, uh, with Thanksgiving and all, we're supposed to be thankful. What are you thankful for? I'm an American. Ah, you are an American. That's good. I'm glad you're thankful for that. You, um, you know what an American is? What is an American? Someone who lives in California. Very good. Who's the most important man in the world today, in your opinion? George Washington. George Washington. That's right. He's married, isn't he? Yes, sir. You know who his wife is? Miss America. That's... Mark Sheverton. What's the hardest thing about uh, uh, school for you? Button in my pants. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, fine, thank you. You're all in red, and let me see your eyes and your, well, your hair. Your hair is you. Uh, what, what happened to your hair? <laughs> well, the reason why it's so short. It's because, you know, the minute it touches my ears, it grows straight out. And then? I look like an idiot. Well, I guess that's a pretty good reason for cutting it off. <laughs> what do you think would make a perfect husband, Karen? Well, a man that provides a lot of money, loves horses, and will, uh, will uh, let you have 22 kids and doesn't put up a fight. What do you think you'll be when you grow up? A nun. I'll bet you before you came down here, they all gave you orders today, didn't they? Very important before you come on a coast-to-coast -coast show. Paula Brown, what did your parents tell you? Um, to keep my legs together. <laughs> if you could be somebody in a storybook, you know, like the stories you read about, who would you be? I'd be Papa Bear because I could eat honey and Goldilocks would be sleeping in my bed. <laughs> Roxanne Burns, what's your favorite Bible story? About the wine. Where? Where did it happen? When Jesus, when Jesus was born. 
When Jesus went where? At the wedding. At the wedding. What did he turn, what did he, how did he make the wine? With his power. Out of what did he make the wine? With water. That's right. Now, when Jesus made the water into wine at the wedding, that's the story. What do we learn from that story? We learned the more wine we get, the better the wedding is. <laughs> is Adam and Eve. How does that story go? One time there was God, and God made Adam out of dust. And then he put Adam to sleep and made Eve out of a rare rib. And then Out of God, what kind of a rib? Rare. A rare rib. <laughs> God said, Adam and Eve, don't eat the apple tree or I'll punish you. And then the devil came along and hip, kind of hypnotized them. <laughs> and then the God went to see someone. And then they got real sick. And then they, and then they hided. Then they hided from God. And they threw up. <laughs> Who took the first bite? And then Eve, then Eve, then Eve, um... Boy, I bet God was mad. Yeah, then God sent them to hell, and they transferred on to, um, Los Angeles. That's good. That's, I believe that's right. We learned from this that all Adam and Eve have a, had a whole mess of baby. How did God punish Eve? Well, um, he made Adam um, sit down and read the Bible. Boy, that was, uh, write the Bible. He sat down and wrote the Bible. Yeah. What did he do with Eve? He made her what? Oh, a housewife. <laughs>